Hello, guys. The vice president of Nigeria, Shetima, you don't beg Nigerians. He said, I beg now. Make one ask it. They fair to this poor man. Who be that poor man? President Bola Metunubo. He said, because every economy has challenges. Nigerians, Muna get pity for this poor man. No. Trust Nigerians now. They have reacted in different social media platforms. Let's hear them and uh, see what exactly they are talking about. But before then, guys, let's go through the news. If you are just joining us, I beg, share this video. Subscribe to this channel. I beg, like us. Drop your comments below the comment section. Thank you. The Vice President, Kasim Shetima, has asked Nigerians to be fair to this poor man, referring to President Bola Tinubu, saying no economy globally is not experiencing difficulties. Chetima also dismissed insinuations about Tinubu's health, saying his principal is a man full of ideas. President Tinubu had, during the Democracy Day celebration last month, missed his steps, an incident that elicited conversations about the former Lagos state governor's health status to lead the country. But at a town hall meeting by the Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council, PEBEC, held at the Bokwet Hall of the State House in Abuja on Friday, Shetima faulted comment about Tinubu's health status. We are not asking you not to question the eligibility of your president's condition, but there is this mischievous vegetation about the president's health status. Chetima said at the event, calling on Nigerians to support Tunubu's administration. We are not preparing for the Olympic, but an institution that binds on the superiority of ideas, but I dare to put it to you. The hallmark of true leadership is not the ability, ability to lift a bag of cement, but the capacity to come up with robust ideas to solve a nation's problems. So this is a man that we need to all rally around. We need to support. He said, Yes, our economy is going through turbulence, but it is confined to Nigeria alone, but it's not confined to Nigeria alone. Let's take a broad band picture. Is any economy immune from the challenges of this time? So I urge you to be fair to this poor man. We have never had it so good in terms of leadership. The president means well. For the nation and most importantly imbued with the ski set to drive challenge and progress in the country shetima said i call you with all sense of confidence that with all sense of confidence and mental self please follow me that the president we have now is a man of ideas okay who is robustly endowed with a capacity leadership is about competence. Okay, that is what the vice president, I've just told Nigerians. When this poor man cry, hey, is he being fair to us after stealing people's mandates? We love your governance. You will take Nigeria to the place Buhari could not. Take us to the land of Gary Siske Per Modu. You are right, sir. That is why I am looking forward to be Nigerian president too. Tunubu is a hypocrite for opposing the former president, Gulog Jonathan, when he wanted to remove the first subsidy in 2015 and went in the opposition uh, direction when he came to the power. The vice president, you have leprosy. Do your way talk who is a poor man. Tunubu is the looter in chief. 
this Bruno man don't use his expired weed for breakfast this morning. The Bruno man don't use expired weed for breakfast this morning. Uh, terrorist Shetima is defending drug lord Tinubu. Did I hear poor man? Tinubu who wants Lagos is poor. With all due respect, sir. Ha, make another talk that one, sir. Okay. Um, these are reactions from Nigerians. I won't, I won't read the, the comments again. The reactions from Nigerians. Because it's really very harsh. Uh, this we should understand that Nigerians are hungry. So this is not going to be the solution of the matter. You was aware of the situation on the ground before you came on board. And you said you are going to fix it. And this also was done by your decent party. So they should stop they, 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 they should stop complaining. They should stop complaining. They just have to stop complaining. Understand? Go do what you learn to do. Because that is what they said. Tunubu said what he did in Lagos, he will bring it down to Nigeria as general and replicate it there. So that is what Nigerians are waiting for. That is what Nigerians expected. Today, dollar has climbed to 1,520 naira, thereabouts. And this thing is still green. It will still go up. You see, it thinks that they don't know what they are doing. That is the issue. So they should stop complaining. Forget about Nigerians as saying. Forget about what Nigerians are saying. If if everything is going well, people must surely talk though, but the talking not go be like this. Nigerians are frustrated. This economy has frustrated Nigerians so bad. Business does no longer move. In in a situation whereby you bought something two thousand naira, you will sell for two thousand one hundred. Then you go to market to go and you know rebuy that item. Uh, you will buy it for three thousand naira. So tell me how you will now you know make up the capital, not to talk of even your gain, because the gain you sold is not even enough to rebuy that. So the situation get as it be. Whether it be salary and the thing just they they hit everybody. If you are receiving five hundred thousand naira. As a salary today in Nigeria, uh, you are just uh, working for feeding, not be say to build house, but to even train children in school. You understand? Or to buy a car, you are just working for you to to eat and stay alive. For them to understand the level, the level, how the how bad the situation is, may they accept and say they don't, they not try. Well, they said this is just one year. We are still expecting maybe miracle fee happen. Who knows? I'm dropping it here. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Thank you.